Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Cooperstown, New York, with a frauditor who tries to audit the local city hall. But he's not a very good listener, so he's pretty much booted out fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, folks. It's uh, Wednesday, the 31st of May, 2013. We're out here in the uh, village of Cooperstown. We are at the Oneida County or uh, Otsego County offices here on Main Street in Cooperstown. We're gonna head on up and uh, see if these folks uh, respect our right to record in public. Let's see what happens. Here at the clerk's office. Oh boy, another FOIA requesting frauditor who's going to do absolutely nothing with the uh, requested paperwork. Well, except for Anthony Lopez, who tends to use it to feed his goats. I mean, they got to be fed. Uh, but this frauditor, I'm not so sure what he's going to do with it anyway, if he manages to get it. So let's carry on. Oh, you have a resolution? Sorry, dude, but you don't have the authority to declare what's constitutional and unconstitutional. Only the courts have the power to do that. Because if every Tom, Dick, and Softard actually had that kind of power, then this country would be in absolute anarchy by now. So I've got a question for you. Sign over here. It says it's per a resolution. Is that a law or is that something that the county adopted? Uh, there's a resolution right behind that. So it's a resolution. This one right here? Yes. I'm going to take a look at that if you don't mind. Oh. All right, folks. We're going to pop this out of here. Okay, so apparently the county is... Uh, Adapting some sort of resolution which doesn't oversee or doesn't supersede the Constitution. Well, gee, Mr. Constitutional Law Scholar, can you show me in the First Amendment exactly where it says that you were allowed to film inside of a uh, city hall without being told not to or even trespass from there? No, you can't. Well, have you ever heard of the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution? And this situation is not exactly covered in the Constitution. So you know what? Shut your bloody mouth! So, alright, so it's a recording policy, it's not law. The only law in this building would be pertained to the courtroom and the areas adjacent to the courtroom, which would be a judge's rule. Okay. Shall be asked to leave. Provided the body and the governing laws further shall take and sign it, shall be continuous and on the points of law. Okay, so we're going to be challenging this resolution today. Yeah, you're going to be challenging that policy. You and what legal army, dude. Other bigger and badder frauditors than you have walked into that type of territory and walked out as failures. So what makes you think that you're going to make a difference in that? 
we should be able to film our county employees in the course of their duties, especially our elected employees. Many, many minutes later. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. You just take a picture of that? I'm just taking some pictures of the office. That's all. I got a picture of your notice over there, the policy. Okay, yeah, you can't be recorded. That's policy. That's policy, though, sir. Sir, so can I get your name? Sergeant Haynes. Sergeant Haynes. Rich, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what I do is I go around and I challenge policies like this. Okay. And uh, so what it comes down to is the First Amendment gives us right to um, check check on our government employees. And I so how am I supposed to come in here and check on these government employees if you guys have a policy? In our, and I understand that. So the policy does not supersede the Constitution of the United States. I understand that. You frauditors keep on saying that the Constitution says this and the Constitution says that. But that gives me the idea that you guys have never even bothered to read the Constitution because you would know how vague it can be when it comes to certain topics because it is not an all-encompassing document. That's why, like I said before, we have the Tenth Amendment, which gives the states the power needed to do what is necessary to do to run their own affairs. As long as it doesn't violate our rights or the Constitution. But, like I said before as well, this is not covered in the Constitution. So my advice to you is actually to sit down and read the whole Constitution. Because it's really not all that long. And you know what? Maybe you should try reading other laws too because there are so many laws that are created based on this constitution that don't exactly violate it either. But I'm here to I'm here to enforce the policy. So sure, the, so the so line is, so here's the, here's the bottom the, line is you can't record in the building. I will ask you to leave. Okay, so if you refuse to leave, you get arrested. Okay, so you the, fight it in court. So the, so so I'm so this can I can I speak you you spoke can I speak now? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and speak because it's always fun listening to a narcissist who suffers from the Dunning-Kruger effect try to explain something that he doesn't entirely understand to somebody who does understand what they're doing. That's always funny. So I'm going to put you on notice that if you violate my First Amendment rights, sir, that there's consequences for that. And that, that, that is that you lose your qualified immunity. I understand that. Over a policy. I sir. understand that, but you stop recording now or you, get re you leave or you get arrested. So if, I don't, so if I don't stop to, right now, you're going to arrest me. Absolutely. All right. Name two. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you yep. so much. Is it Turpin, as it is? Yes, it is. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm being uh, escorted out of the building under threat of arrest. <laughs> yeah, you too. I'll see you in court, sir. You should add to that, I'll see you in court whenever I have the thousands of dollars it's going to require to hire the lawyer and to have the court calls taken care of just for the slim possibility that I might end up winning. Which is exactly why he's not going to file a lawsuit because those things are quite expensive. And if he would pull his head out of his own ass, he would realize how expensive they are. What do you say? So I was just escorted out of the building under threat of arrest. And we will absolutely be challenging this. This is the policy. Uh, the sergeant escorted me out under threat of arrest. What we have here is a frauditor who is extremely butthurt by the fact that no matter how many signs he saw, no matter how much he got, tried to get his way, he ended up failing and is now crying that he didn't get his way. Well, now... I'm sure Dr. Zoidberg will give you a sample of his butt hurt cream, guaranteed to cure that pain in your ass after being kicked out of a building. And uh, we will be filing a lawsuit against the county and the taxpayers will definitely be paying for this one, for that officer's enforcement of policy over the Constitution.
That was an easy one, folks. Uh, there was no educating him. He was either going to arrest me or, uh, you know, I had to stop. I would have Hey, so what I really need to do is I need to make a public records request with the clerk. I'm a journalist working on a story about the county. All right, well, if you're going to come in, you need to shut the phone off and put it away. Sir, that's, all that's, that's called prior restraint, sir. You understand what that is, right? So you're still going to deny me access to the building? With your phone recording, yes, I am. Dude, the government is not trying to censor you. So trying to use prior restraint as an argument, not exactly going to work here because, well, you're not being censored. You're just being asked not to film in a building where there may be sensitive information because it is connected to a courthouse or has other sensitive information that need not be placed on the Internet. So shut your damn mouth and use a proper argument that won't be entirely blown out of the sky by simple logic. Only because my phone's recording. Yes. That's the bottom line. That's the that, that's that's that's, that's no reason, right? You're welcome to come in. All right, man. What was your name, sir? Rich. 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 Just Rich. You'll find out when Thank they you. when they serve you your summons. You're gonna find out. Okay. All right. So there it is, guys. I got denied access to the county building, and he said it right out of his own mouth. That's because I'm recording. Uh, we'll just put the sergeant and we'll put the uh, the officer on the lawsuit with the county. And uh, that's the way that's going to go. The taxpayers are going to pay for this one. That's sad. That's sad. That's a sad thing that they don't even give a shit. They won't even listen to you at this point. Well, gee, uh, it's hard to listen to people like you when people like you act like an incompetent, entitled freaking morons. Signs posted everywhere, and you uh, present yourself as an uneducated buffoon to begin with. So therefore, yeah, I'm uh, completely understanding why nobody wants to listen to a complete moron like yourself. So have a good day. And as far as the rest of you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.